We're here yeah. to hand over the computers. Uh, what, what difference will these computers do to the lives of the students here at Orlando High? Well, if I may say, the difference that we'll, we'll have is that now we don't have to go to internet cafes. We don't have to actually force our parents or keep on begging our parents to give us money for the internet cafe. Now we have the cafe in our school. And it's actually a good thing because some of us have to register. And at university, they tell us that we have to register online, meaning that I'll, don't have, I'll, I'll never have to stress with the fact that I have to go to universities, uh, do the forms and stuff like that. Well, the Internet Cafe is just uh, a mile away from you, or should I say, just at the tip of the door from me. I would say since we're in the 21st century, 2014, everything we have right now is uh, through the tip of technology. So everyone should be able to use technology. And what Telcom and Pirates have done is actually a good initiative that uh, we now have the technology in our school. So I'd say it's, it's a very uh, good thing, and I applaud them for that. Uh, to Orlando Pirates, it's simple. They say charity begins at home. And it's Orlando Pirates, and this is Orlando High School. So which better school to donate than Orlando High? So to Pirates, uh, thank you very much, up the box. We hope that uh, we're going to build some sort of relationship uh, to continue sponsoring and helping us because it's not only the, the Internet Cafe that we have a problem with. We still have a couple of issues that we have, uh, like a all. So to Pirates, thank you very much. We hope this is not the end of the deal. We're still going to continue this road together. We're quite excited. Uh, it falls nicely within our ICT strategy. We want to change the classrooms, how it looks now. Uh, we believe the current format of classrooms is stone age. Uh, we need to move with times, we need to move with technology. And we're quite excited that Telcom Magritte uh, to be part of this initiative. You know, uh, it's a game changer. Uh, we need to ensure that every learner, by the time they leave the school, uh, they should be in a position to say, I can utilize ICT to solve my problems. I always tell people that uh, you can buy anything. You can buy a cell phone, you can buy a DVD, you can buy a decoder. When you arrive at home, you ask your young one to fix it for you, to connect it for you. Uh, that is an indication how our young people uh, need to be armed with information. They need to be armed because the desire is there, the urge is there. Uh, they are the ones that are dealing with these issues on a day-to-day -day basis. When your cell phone broke, it is the one that comes and assists and, and deals with all of that. So we are quite excited and we believe young people must be given the opportunity to excel. The future without telecom is meaningless. That I can tell you. Uh, telecom is our savior. Uh, they, they really picked a very important niche, which is education, and they, they have gone all out. I must be honest, for the first time, we have an institution that leads us. You know, we normally lead and go and back. The other one that says, show us where there is a need. We will go there. And we just show them the school. Next time you get an invite, they are opening that school with ICT. So they are our savior. I really want to thank them. And I hope that they remain focused, they remain strong, and other companies and partners can really look at this partnership and say, we can add an extra hand.
think it's been emphasized and we know for sure that we are where we are because of education. Uh, you educate a child, you educate the family, and you break the cycle of poverty. So the occasion today is very key. It's what we need not only in our communities, not only in our region, but in the country. We need to make education effective and, and, and efficient for our learners and our teachers. And ICT provides that platform of effective education because the resources that we provide to learners and to teachers provide quick learning and um, ignite the passion for the learners to want to study and to aspire to be better people. Well, uh, what I'd like to say to Telcom or to the Telcom Foundation is uh, job well done, keep it up, please. And this should not only stop or uh, end here at Orlando, please do it to other schools because we're not, uh, we're not like the only disadvantaged school. We still have more disadvantaged schools around the entire country. So to Telcom, thank you very much. Uh, keep on doing the good work.